Today kicked off the nation's largest outdoor farm event. The 2022 Farm Progress Show brings farmers from around the world to Boone to check out the latest farm products. Uh, guess who's there? <laughs> WHO 13's Roger Riley. We know how much you've been looking forward to this, Roger, especially since this has been uh, on hiatus for the last two years. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. I know you'd probably like to be here, but I'll, I'll stand in for you. They had a little good rainfall up here the other day at two and a half inches. National Weather Service uh, put out a tweet today saying, you know, that the ground soaked up all the rain, so there's no flooding. So uh, now the show will bring out some four or 600, I should say, exhibitors to the show with the latest in farm technology. They come from all over the world to see how it's done here. But one thing they won't get to see uh, is demo harvesting and tilling. It's not due to the wet conditions, but rather the wet spring led to late planting. The corn is not yet mature. Show manager Matt Youngman said that the improvements here at the Expo grounds are paying off. Yes, yes. After two and a half inches of rain Saturday night, if we didn't have these roads and the storm sewer drainage system, this place would be a we would have destroyed this place before the first visitor ever set foot in here. And on hand today were many dignitaries, including Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds, who came to talk about Iowa and how they're getting broadband connectivity to the rural areas of Iowa. So with state, federal, and private sector dollars, we will have allocated when we're uh, completely done almost 600 million in broadband connectivity. So it really is a great example of public-private partnerships. And one of the coolest things you will see at the Farm Progress Show is the Rise Aerotech. It's a drone. I call it a flying tractor. Actually, it's an ultralight aircraft. There's no license to fly needed. It can go up to 63 miles an hour. It flies on six independent rotors, each with its own battery. It's simple to learn, and it will fly 25 minutes on a full charge. It can be used to give farmers a real close-up look at their crops. One of the notions with this is you know, you can see in three dimensions, but a drone can only see what your camera's pointed at. So you might miss something valuable when flying, even over a smaller farm. And so the value of being able to see detail uh, where you are is really important. And to be able to land, to be able to try and assess the situation by foot. Now you're probably wondering, you know, what is this, what will this cost me? It's $150,000 manufacturer list price. Uh, they'll be doing a live demo of it here tomorrow at the Farm Progress Show. It is not on the market yet, we should say. And also, tomorrow night, country music star Lee Bryce will be in concert here at 5.30 at the Farm Progress Show. That's tomorrow here near Boone. So Aaron. much going on, Roger. Gosh, it's yep. hard to pick. Got a lot. <laughs> what thing do you want to take, <laughs> take in? All right, thanks, Roger.